Hey guys, this is Mo from Forney, Texas. I'm here to do a demonstration walkthrough of my 2015 Bass Cat Caracal. This was purchased from Selma, Alabama uh, from Breck Marine. Uh, Scott Breck and his family run that business. Very great people to work with, nice, knowledgeable about their products, uh, and just professionally courteous uh, beyond imagination. So we're gonna walk through this, hopefully answer some questions look at the storage, look at the layout, uh, and uh, just again, overall, just total satisfaction of how this thing turned out, needless to say. So we're gonna start from the back of the boat. I'm a Yamaha fan, been running Yamahas for several years now on several different rigs. Uh, I just love my show. The maximum horsepower you can put on this is 225, which is what it has. I do not like the transom savers so yamaha has these things right here that you can put on as you can see it fits right there goes in and out it's real simple you put your locks up here to keep it from swaying left and right as you're going down the road it keeps it very secure i like this i know some folks don't uh but i do the gas is right here the selector switch basket's always had this uh I put the 10 gallon tank in here and it came standard with a 33 so I got 43 gallons of fuel that should get me where I need to go and here's the uh, gas tanks uh, where you pump fuel in and then the ladder here that expands out and uh, gets you back on the boat if you ever get knocked out or if you want to take a quick swim and cool off uh, that's what I like to do down here on the back side of the trailer I have right here reverse lights LEDs two of them you can't see the other side uh, from here, but I'll walk over there and show you. Uh, reverse lights are good and handy when you're backing down a ramp, backing into your garage. Just shine some light so you can see what's behind you. And then over here, you can see the big hockey puck. This is for the HDS 12. And there's the other reverse light. Standard LED lights for brake lights and turn signals. Uh, Bascat builds these trailers themselves. They're quality products made from American steel. Can't say enough about that. On this boat, I did put the upgraded shooter wheels on here. Uh, I just like the way they look. It's purely cosmetic, um, but that's me. I like the things uh, that are blingy, for lack of better words. One of the things to notice, this is a multicolored rig. Uh, the boat does look black and it's actually black with some blue fleck. So here you can see the light shining off of the blue fleck. And uh, uh, to me it matches that Yamaha that's on the back. So uh, I love red, white, and blue uh, boats. So hopefully this turns into like a dark navy with the blue fleck off in there. Silver stripes, uh, red inserts with the white uh, lower insert there and uh, man it's just sharp silver on the lightning bolt that goes around uh, I, I like i said i think it turned out really well uh, everybody can have their own opinion but uh, so far it's got nothing but compliments i went with a white boot some folks call that a hole but bass cat calls it a boot uh, along with the black hambies and uh, man uh, like i said it just turned out really well for me then up front you can see again white on the nose silver stripe and the black and blue fleck uh, inside so uh, pure fiberglass fenders made by bass cat as well and again you can see the blue fleck uh, reflecting back on you yeah just beautiful boat beautiful beautiful boat uh, oh here's my tournament jersey uh, Clown Co. is owned by Mike McWhorter in Mesquite, Texas. Uh, he makes tournament jerseys for anybody uh, that's looking to have a tournament jersey made. Uh, I'll just turn this around real quick. You can see it's a long sleeve, uh, zip up neck, put your name on it, some other sponsors and logos on here is what uh, he does. Uh, I'm no longer with H&W Marine, obviously. And uh, again, just nice material, good shirt, good quality good person that owns that business and uh you know can't ask for a better partner when you're fishing tournaments so we're gonna climb in 
So up front, we have a day box. South coat latches, plenty big. You can see my hand goes down in here. I got uh, hooks and whatnot in here as an example. Uh, South coat latches with locks. All the Bass Cat premium models have those as a standard item. Here, the caracal also comes with retractable rod straps. It does latch into the day box. Any questions on that? Uh, I like the idea, some folks don't, but I like it. It gives me plenty of strap space here to put sticks on the deck and take them all the way down and, uh, you know, save space, saves time. I like it. Next, we're going to move to starboard side here. I mean, the port side. Uh, they have this cast aluminum or billet aluminum. I forget exactly what it is. Some kind of aluminum. It's polished uh, where you got net storage and a ruler holder tool holder uh, and more tools so uh, all kinds of space for tools easy access to a landing net if you need one you don't have to worry about tripping on it or anything else like that it's a really great layout in my opinion so here on the rod lockers one thing you'll notice is it's carpeted and look at the blue LEDs. All of the baskets come with LS, uh, LEDs. And uh, I chose blue for the inside of mine. This goes way up in there, as you can see. And uh, I just like the way it laid out. Uh, plenty of space, uh, holds all kinds of stuff. Uh, rods can go in there, obviously. Spare trolling motors, uh, just whatever you think you may need uh, can go right off in there. Next comes the interesting part of the boat that I like, one of the reasons why I bought this brig, is right here in the center of the boat, as you can see, center of the boat, center, is another, what I call the rod blocker. Here, again, blue LEDs, I got rod tubes, uh, plenty of storage space right there. And as you can see, this is deep. This will hold, I think, up to an eight-foot rod, so um, shouldn't have any problems. I love the center rod storage just for a simple fact of it uh, keeps me from having to move rods around on the deck uh, to open up one of these side compartments that's normally rod storage on most boats. Uh, I love this idea. Uh, it's, to me, it saves me some money from having to kick them off. I don't have to strap them down or anything else. Just excellent idea. So I'm going to shift to the other side. Here is uh, some of this tackle that I'm fixing to start loading in here. Um, I'm kind of partial to the bags. These are just bags that you can go get for two bucks at the Walmart, Target, uh, any other kind of big box name store. They're just laundry bags. You can see what you got in here, uh, the colors and whatnot. And, uh, you know, once you're done with it, uh, you can see it just wraps up, collapses, and it saves you a lot of space. Uh, unlike a hard tackle box like this one here, uh, there's a lot of dead air in there. That's what I like to call that. Uh, it does keep things safe um, from moisture, like this one does. It has a seal around it, but uh, uh, that's just my choice to use bags like this right here. But back to the boat. Um, this is the first, as you can see, of two. Again, blue LEDs, just beautifully laid out. I'm gonna stick this bag in here to show you how deep it is. And I'm, I'm flat-handed right here, and it goes up to nearly my shoulder. That's how deep this box is. So, excellent, excellent storage. I'm gonna put this 3700 in here, so you can see that as well. I mean, look at that. You can stand this thing up long ways, and it's still, has plenty of room to grow so that's how deep this front box is alone on the bass cat kirkel just a just a tremendous amount of space second thing is you get two of them on the bass cat kirkel here's the other one as you can see it has sit down pole in there 
a little sprocket to keep your important paperwork, fishing license, boat registration. It's plenty deep right here. And then it goes down even deeper right there. And then way up underneath there is where I'll keep spare change of clothes in case I fall in. Um, that happens <laughs> and it gets cold. So you don't want to dive the cold weather during the winter time. So make sure you always have spare clothes in your boat just in case you do accidentally hit a stump and uh, knock yourself out and uh, put yourself into the lake. Close those up. Again, South Cole latches, as you can see here on all premium models. Um, again, they do lock and uh, comes in handy. Here's the other storage compartment. A lot of folks call this a rod locker. Uh, put my life jacket in there, like I always do. It's got the storage for my rear light pole. And as you can see, it goes way up underneath there. And again, blue LEDs uh, in all my compartments. The front of this Caracal has the built-in LEDs. So the bow light is red and green, but it's built in. Uh, all the Bass Cat Premium models have that as a feature. Here you see a 12 volt uh, plug in case you need to charge phone or whatever you need to do. Yeah, that's my motorcycle. Another 12 volt plug right here. Rod straps, lights um, to help light up your front deck if you need it. And again, another recessed uh, rod strap over here. Coming back here to the operations part of the boat. One of the things that's also unique about the Caracal is the way that they've got the cooler laid out. And uh, I have grass in my boat already, but it's because I haven't uh, brushed my uh, <laughs> garage floor. But I got, it's got these spring-loaded stainless steel latches on here, and these are stout. There's nothing escaping from these live wells. You see plenty big, um, hold plenty of juice. Uh, here's another cooler right here so you can use this one as a cooler on the right and this one as dry storage over here on the left to put culling materials uh, any kind of weigh mechanism that you're using to, to weigh your fish awesome awesome storage and then the other cool thing is this passenger rod box this is a trip look at this bad boy it's got holes down in there to hold the butts of rods and tubes to put rods in let me turn that right uh that's just beautiful again leds keeps your rods safe and secure and keeps them from bouncing around your co-anglers your spouse uh they'll love that and again on top of this you can put five more rods and strap them down with a bungee and uh Man, that's just awesome for me. I really like that concept. That's one of the many reasons why I wanted this model. It uh, has all these nice features in it. So here on the passenger side, I'm gonna pull up the center step, which has storage built into it. Again, I think you can uh, put wallets and cell phones and whatever else you want off in there. Maps, uh, pulling materials again. It's all up to you on how you want to populate this boat. But uh, again, plenty of storage. Water holders right here, you know, so it's right there accessible. If you're going down the lake, you want to drink water. It's right there. Plus you have two more right here. Uh, shouldn't go thirsty, long and short, right? So over here is the business end of the boat. Uh, again, a Lowrance HDS-12 built into the console. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Plenty of space. Push buttons, tachometer. This right over here is all your fuel and, and whatnot. And I'll turn this on for you. So you can see it lights up. So during the night when you're prepping, uh, all kinds of cool stuff can happen right here without having to uh, break out the flashlight or LED lights. Uh, I got the radio put in. It also has a CD player as this comes down. And I can put CDs in there. The other cool thing about this is it also plays MP3s. So Basscat mounted me a holder right here to hold my phone or an MP3 player right here. And I can just plug it in 
and be jamming to music uh, any given time. So hopefully that wasn't too dark, but again, it's an MP3 player right here and that comes in handy and I got a speaker right there and a speaker on the other side. Back to the console. Again, we have all kinds of gauges going on. Fuel, trim, water pressure, uh, pumping water in and out of the live wells, all touch, uh, just nicely done by Basscap. One of the things I love about a Basscap premium model is I can hit the accessory button and these cool lights come on onto the rails. I don't know what it is, but this is uh, not my first Basscap, but every one of them have been a premium model and man, this is just awesome. It just looks good. I have no other reason th than that to like it. Turn that off. Now, again, I'm guys, I'm six foot four. And as you can see, I've got the hot foot installed and running and my knees are nowhere near the console. I got plenty of space to be driving. I mean, look at this. Hopefully this helps people understand how much space is look at that. I mean, I'm nearly straight legged underneath this console. So much space. Here's the ignition key for uh, cranking the motor. But this console is, uh, gives me plenty of room, should give everybody plenty of room, and uh, you shouldn't have any worries. These right here, these are buttons to change the digital gauge, which is this part right here. And I don't have my keys on it, or else I'd show you that. But if you've got questions, uh, shoot me an email and let me know. Okay, moving to the back of the boat, which is where we get a lot of questions from. And uh, hopefully, by the way, before we get there, look at my seats. Multicolored seats, there's four colors on a seat. Very comfortable, speakers built into both of them. Just beautifully done. Can't uh, ask for a better job from Bass Cap. And then right here on the live wells, which are triangular, we get questions about them not being centered. Well, they're not centered because you got rod storage here on the side, so the seat had to come in. Um, and I think they did a really good job of accommodating for that. But uh, keeps room from burning my fingers. Also, like on a metal latch, uh, these down here, you just clip it like I just did, lock this one back down. And then right here, you just clip that and it comes right on up. You ain't gotta burn your fingers or anything. Deep live well, I believe this will hold roughly 44 gallons. Um, triangular to keep the swashing, swishing, whatever the good word is there from happening and injuring your fish or causing them to go uh, panic or shrink up on you or anything else like that, throwing up their bait they had that morning. Anytime that happens, you're losing weight and we're all about the weight. So I'm gonna lock these back down. Again, just real simple. Those things ain't going anywhere. So here's the question uh, that most folks ask is rear storage, what does it look like? Well, they are different angled than standard or what the norm is, as you can see. It's got a little angle to it when I lifted it up, angle right here. And this is plenty of storage. Uh, this side has actually got a removable bin. So again, um, beautifully done. And as you can see, there's my 10 gallon tank down there and look at all the empty space right here it uh you can put whatever you need to right there alone i'm going to put jumper cables tool i always keep tools with me in the boat keep them in the back uh, and again plenty of storage you can put pumps there if you wanted power poles i don't run power poles uh, but a lot of folks do but that's what you can use in some of that space As you can see, again, just real simple installation of that bucket. Now here's the other box on the back that gets a lot of questions. This one's got a lock on it. The other one did not because it's removable. Big lid, opens way up. It's carpeted, blue LEDs. And look at all that space. I mean, that's a, just a ton of space. So, uh, Hopefully that answers your question. That's a, that's a big, big, big storage right there. Needless to say, huge amount of storage for any co-angler to put stuff in. If they can't put their tackle into that, tell them to unpack some stuff. 
lock that down. And then the other unique thing about this boat is the battery compartment. Here's the battery compartment, 10 gallon tank of gas. I got four Trojan batteries, 31 series in size. And again, blue LEDs. There's the storage I showed you from the removable bin. Easy access to pumps. Look at those pumps. Simple. Every one of them goes out, and we replace it very simple. Switch to prevent the batteries from getting drained when you're not using it. Battery charger built in. Real simple. Along with power cord over here for it to connect to. This lid is actually removable. All you gotta do is unstrap this bungee right here and it completely slides off. So, um, excellent, excellent, excellent design. More storage, guys. Right here, look. I'm by my batteries. This is completely empty. Look how that goes far back up in there. And around and around and around. That's like a whole nother area to put a Bass Pro Shops <laughs> size of tackle box right in here if you really want to do it. And I'll put throw cushions and things like that. Put them in here, put them out of the way so no one's tripping on them. Uh, they're easily accessible and attainable. Um, tools, spare prop, you know, just whatever. Uh, plenty of space. And then the other thing about space back here is the Caracal has this compartment which is walled off is another storage that's accessible only when this battery compartment lid is open it does have this little lip that's what keeps it locked down but again it's walled off you're not going to uh, get anything through that so um, again you can put power pole pumps in here as well um, over here though is where generally another gas tank of 10 gallons just like this one gets put in at but uh, I didn't want 53 gallons of fuel I figure if I burn 53 gallons of fuel I'm not I'm not fishing I'm running and I'd rather be fishing so uh, excellent excellent storage in this boat to say the least and you got cup holders here and here for your co-angler if they want to keep a drink of Gatorade or a bottle of water on deck while um, fishing. So hopefully this answers some of your questions about the Bass Cat Caracal. Again, this is a 2015 brand new, um, brand new model, brand new boat. Just picked it up from Brex Marine out in Selma, Alabama. Huge, huge space. Again, I'm six foot four. And look at all the space I've got up here on this front deck. So if you're looking for a new rig, contact Scott Breck out at Brex Marine. Uh, I'm sure be happy to work with you on customizing your colors, to helping you pick out a boat that you want. Um, Bass Cat's the only way to go. Uh, lifetime whole warranty, not too many manufacturers will do that for you now. So uh, it's hard to beat the Bass Cat, guys. So anyways, uh, if you have questions, get a hold of me. Sorry for the length of this, but I wanted everybody to understand the Bass Cat Curricle. And uh, shoot me an email at mlhjr1 at gmail.com. And uh, thanks again to Mike McWhorter and Clown Company for making me my beautiful tournament shirts.